Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of the Revelation, chapter 10, so let's focus on verses 10 and 11. Then I took the little scroll from the angel's hand and ate it. It was as sweet as honey in my mouth, but when I ate it, my stomach became bitter. And I was told, you must prophesy again against many peoples, nations, languages, and kings. Revelation 10, verses 10 and 11. So, get this picture. I'm lying on an emergency room gurney a few years ago. Bright lights, hospital staff swarming all around me. My heart is beating like a zillion miles an hour. There's a tight pain in my chest. A nurse says, Mr. Wiggins, put this little pill under your tongue. And so I did. And as I looked at the nurse and I put the pill under my tongue, the nurse asked, Mr. Wiggins, can you tell me exactly what your feelings? (laughs) Her voice became metallic and my vision diminished to like a pinhole size. And I was fading fast. I thought I was dying. And then slowly the world started coming back to me like a boomerang. Are you okay, Mr. Wiggins? I was back. I nodded, yes, yes. And one nurse turns to another. She says, he's not having a heart attack. Must be stress. <laughs> I, I felt a little embarrassed for taking up their vital ER time. But I was relieved to know that my worst fears were invalidated by the sweet news that all I needed was a vacation. And sadly, that was not the case for others in the cardiac unit that night. Many folks had developed serious symptoms that they sweetly just passed off as if they were heartburn. And later they were rushed by an ambulance to the hospital where family members were given the bitter news of their loved one's passing. You know, I've shared in the sweet experience alongside the Apostle John of of having received the gospel. I hope you have too. And I've received the sweet gift of salvation, which the gospel offers through faith in Jesus with great joy. But salvation also has a bitter aftertaste, if we're honest with ourselves, and that it carries the reality that many will reject the gospel. It's bitter, because I know that on the day of the Lord, bitter judgment awaits all who are found without Jesus' atonement. And it's bitter because the means of deliverance was so easily obtainable. God's grace offered freely to anyone who would turn from their sin and accept it. And oftentimes people will violently reject the messenger of the gospel. And that is the bitter downside of having received and committed to share God's word. And yet we press on, don't we? Because our own salvation experiences are proof that people are out there hungry to taste the gospel's sweetness. People like us need people like us to share the gospel with them. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Check us out at groundworksministries.com.